for Thursday, May 5th of 2022. John Hammond here at the organ. And I'm accordionist too. Playing a little bit of Georgia on my mind for you today. Sending it out to all my friends in Georgia. George has been on a lot of people's minds lately. Don't you know? Yeah. I played this one with the late great David Fathead Newman from the Ray Charles Band. I just call him David. Well, it's been a little bit slow this week, no gigs, but next week I'm busy again and be doing a little bit of traveling. I've been kicked back today looking at a few old pictures and uh, a lot of memories, you know. So I'm going to lay some on you. And I hope everybody's doing okay out there. Of course, I'm quite concerned about everybody over in Ukraine. Let's see. Here's a gig I did for the, the Honorable greatly missed Terrence Hallinan I played at his birthday party a few years ago everybody was there who was anybody in San Francisco that was a great beautiful event and the uh, mayor of New York Mayor Dinkins David N. Dinkins he flew out from New York for that my friend Rochelle Metcalf of the I Heard That column. She's a good friend of mine, would miss her too. Yeah. Early Sunday mornings when you're in Hamburg, the tradition is to go down to the fish market. About five o'clock in the morning. And the party continues. Microsoft, they pulled the plug on my web TV. Yeah, they did. That was my first internet device. Finally had a breakdown, good computer. Canyon, California, folks. I used to go there all the time. Good times. I got a few other pictures here on the end. Before I get out of here, I just want to say one last thing. And that is... Bye-bye now. 
This is my heaven report from Monday, May 9th. John Hammond at the organ. And that's John Otis at the drums. AKA John O. We got the same spelling, J O N. Short form of Jonathan. This is a tune I wrote quite a long time ago when I was 15 years old. And it's called Get Back in the Groove. We're playing in Bolinas, California at Smiley's Schooner Saloon and Hotel. I have played there a number of times over the years. And it's been a while. The last time we played there, we did a benefit for my friend Don Dean and the new owner, Lila. She has done a lot of work on it, and I heard that they're serving actual food now. They got some Mexican selections and some breakfast selections. So, that's beautiful. And it's great to be there by the ocean and the lagoon. Just a few miles over from Stinson Beach. Yeah, when I was a teenager, we used to hitchhike out there all the time. Yeah, this is a duo gig, you know. All we need is the drums and the organ. We got John Otis on the drums. And we were planning to do something as a trio to record real soon. Kind of hard to get everybody together. But that should be uh, coming up before you know it. I got the hamburger down on the little organ. And I am in the parking lot of a gig I'm going to play this morning. I'm the early boy. Early bird gets the worm. And the second mouse gets the cheese, I always say. I came to the gig using ways. Took me some interesting ways, too, but it got me here in record time. I'm going to take you home with this one, folks. Have a beautiful Monday. Happy day after Mother's Day, everybody. If you're not a mother, you had a mother, and we wouldn't be here. John Hammond told you so. One last thing here. Oh, yeah. Hammond report, but first a word from main man Eugen Hahn. Thank you, Shen. Wow, Eugen Hahn. It's never going to be the same without Eugen. Eugen, a special, very special introduction for me. I'm really happy. Uh, Eugen is a very special friend for me. That's right. This is the, this is the 30 first years. My very first opportunity to play here. At John Hammond here at the Eugen. It's a special night for me. And it is Tuesday, for everybody who came here. May 10th of 2022. Thanks for tuning in my Hammond Report for some more of my music and stories. Special gig here. And I'll tell you who's on the band. I go way back with all these cats. 
of this, uh, Play a little blues for you. There's so much history here, you know, Art Blakey played here. We just came out of a, a power blackout here. And uh, I got my computer back on, the internet is back connected. It's always a... That's right. It's always a reminder when you have the power cut and the internet cut. It's an important thing to have. You're going to hit it here. Yeah. I don't know if we'll ever be back there. The organ's gone. We were supposed to go and play April 28th, but the new management didn't get back to me. So uh, it's a whole different thing now. As a little friend of mine said one time, things are different now. That's right. Tony Lakatosh on the tenor saxophone. Joe Berger, a.k.a. the Burgermeister, over there with the guitar. And back there kicking us on the drums. My old friend and bandmate, Giovanni Toto Galino. Yeah. Yeah, Tony. Tony finally retired from the Messers of Rune Funk Radio Big Band. And I think he goes back and plays with them every now and then. But he's playing more than ever. And now he gets to do his own thing. A lot more. But it was a good gig for Tony, you know. I used to very often go to the cantina at the Hesse Funk, which was right next door to American Forces Network Radio and TV on the Bertramstrasse. That was over at AFN sometimes, and then we'd go over and have a fantastic lunch and the coffee was even better than Starbucks. Yeah, and the price was right for all the employees there. And uh, I was lucky I could join the colleagues there at the Hesse Rune Funk. I was on that radio station one time, a Hesse Rune Funk uh, HR1 with Uli Oldshausen, Ulrich Oldshausen. He's long time retired, but he was the, the jazz director there. He used to call me the party jammer. Yeah, well, we're not jamming too much these days, but I'm still gigging, and uh, we do get into some jams. But back in those days when I was living in Frankfurt, yeah, Tony, out of sight. Yeah, we did a lot of jamming, because I was working many, many nights at the Jazz Kneipe on the Berliner Straße, from 10 o'clock at night till uh, 3 in the morning. We used to say from Schweinswanzig Uhr bis 3 Uhr, and then hang out till 5 in the morning with Regina, the boss, and have some pizza and some beers and then I'd walk up to the tile, because the trains and the Strasenbahn would start up around there and go back to the pad and go to sleep. <laughs> That's right, musician hours, Joe Berger, getting down on the JJ guitar. Right on, Burger. I'm going to play some more. Hammond organ for you on the SK-1 Hammond portable organ. Yeah, we had a lot of friends in the house right there. And I started a tradition of, of having a big, beautiful chocolate 
chocolate cake made every year because it was right around my birthday time and in Germany you gotta bring your own cake so I got into that and then every year the cake got bigger and bigger and Mr. Toulon, the master baker he bakes some incredible cakes and the last one was so big so much chocolate that uh, there was enough for everybody and then some at the club. So uh, Anna and Philip, they uh, took it home. They're probably eating cake for the next few days, you know? Yeah. I heard that now they're doing like a mixed cocktail drink scene there. And uh, before it was mostly Mostly folks drinking beer, a little bit of schnapps. And uh, I stopped all that stuff a long time ago. But I did have a few good uh, German beers when I first moved over there. Yeah, I did. And I was a guest at the uh, Astra Beer Brewery in uh, Hamburg. They showed me not only how they make it, but how they pour it. Special art to that, you know. Yeah, well, we're going to take you home with this one. I want to thank you, everybody, anybody who's tuned in to the Hammond Report. I'll be back tomorrow. John Hammond. In the band here. I got one last thing to say before I slide out of here today. And that is, thank you and bye-bye now. It's the Hammond Report for Wednesday, May 11th of 2022. This is John Hammond, the organ player and accordionist. I'm back with my daily Hammond Report, and I am actually sitting in the car right now because I got a choice parking space for a morning gig today and I always say the early bird gets the worm and the second mouse gets a pretty good parking space and another cat just pulled up next to me he's looking at me like oh I wish I had that space but this one is okay and in about five minutes, there's not going to be any parking spaces, you know. So, uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that whoever's listening and watching or both out there is joining me right now. I want to tell you that the tune I'm playing here, I wrote, and it's on my first album. The title of the tune is Party is forbidden here. Yeah, there's a whole story that goes along with the tune. Yeah, someday I will tell you the story if you keep tuning in long enough. But I will also tell you that the tenor saxophonist Alex Foster from the Saturday Night Live band, long time on SNL, I just heard from him just a few minutes ago, and he says he has a gig tonight at the Cutting Room with um, some really nice cats, uh, Chris Parker on drums, and um, Oz Noy, the guitar player, I never got to hear him, so uh, I can't make it tonight, but you did invite me, so thank you, Alex, have a beautiful hit. And I'm so happy and proud to have him on my recording that we did at the Quad Recording Studios in Times Square with Joe Berger at the controls and co-producing. You see some pictures from the road here. I've been doing a lot of driving and of course, uh, the other band members are longtime uh, associates of mine on this 
track, and that is Chuggy Carter on congas and percussions, Barry Finnerty guitar, and Bernard Purdy on the drums. There's Barry playing the guitar now. And I'll tell you that when I got there to the studio, it was my first time to play there, and they had not broken out the Hammond V3 organ that they had there for a long time. And when they opened it up, guess what? One of the keys was busted, clear off, but the piece was there. So I went out and I got some super glue. I had to glue that key back together before the session could begin. And super glue held it together. And you know what else super glue did? <laughs> I saw a cat uh, super glued his hand uh, at the Starbucks the other day to protest uh, using dairy products. <laughs> and uh, i tell you right now that I think I uh, got the better use out of the super glue because uh, when I go to Starbucks, I got to have some milk in my coffee, you know, especially when I have a latte or a flat white. What would that be without the milk? So I hope the cat got his hand free after that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in the paper yesterday. <clears throat> well, I hope that everybody's doing okay out there. My, my heart and prayers go out to all the folks in Ukraine that are under attack relentlessly from the murderous lunatic Vlade Putin and I want that to stop right now it's too late for a lot of people so uh, I stand with them we're going to back it down here and say one last thing before I slide out today come back tomorrow it's John Hammond saying bye bye now Hello there. This is the Hammond Report for Friday, May 13th of 2022. John Hammond here at the organ. Thanks for joining me, folks, for some more of my music and stories. I'm on a different computer today just for fun to see how this one sounds and I hope you can hear me out there this is an old standard it's called these foolish things remind me of you it's an old one probably before your time in fact it's before my time because it was written by a man named Eric Moschwitz in 1935 but the tune stuck to the wall pretty good because it's been covered by so many great people including Nat King Cole Bing Crosby in 1944 Billy Ward and his dominoes and one of my favorites Johnny Hartman Frankie Lane and Sam Cooke Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, Billy Holiday, Etta James, Aaron Neville on a Frank Sinatra album, Point of No Return, that was 1961. Sammy Davis Jr., and we got uh, Cassandra Wilson, even Rod Stewart and James Brown. James Brown covered it three times. Brian Ferry and believe it or not, Bob Dylan. How about that? And John Hammond. Well, I hope everybody's doing okay out there. There's another surge, folks, so be careful out there. Prayers up for my friend Dom Famulero. He's going under the knife this morning. And for all the people in Ukraine. I'm going to take you home with this one. I'll be back tomorrow. 
John Hammond said one last thing before I get out of here. That is, bye bye now. It's called Late Rent. I paid for this one with the rent money. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful NAM show. Thank you for the NAM people for letting us kick it off here. Here we go. Late Rent. Hello from sunny California. This is the Hammond Report for Saturday, May 14th of 2022. John Hammond here. Thank you very much, folks, for joining me once again for some more of my music and stories. Well, yesterday, they put up the official schedule for the NAMM show performances, and I'm happy to announce that once again, we're gonna do the kickoff concert right at 10 a.m. June 3rd, that's a Friday, right when they open the doors, right after the Disneyland band opening performance, we're gonna play as they open the doors, and we'll be on the Arena Plaza stage John Hammond Funk Unit. And this morning when I got up, I I did a Yahoo image search for some of the golden moments from the NAMM show. I've done over 30 years there. So I'm gonna run some pictures here. This is my theme song, Late Rent. And we got some beautiful cats gonna be on the band. Everybody on this band here, except Koei Tanaka can't make it from Tokyo, unfortunately, this time, but we might have a special guest standing in for him at, uh, from the left to right. Joe Berger, guitar. Charles McNeil, tenor saxophone. Ronnie Smith on the drums and Chuggy Carter of congas and percussions and yours truly, John Hammond at the organ. We're gonna take you home with this one. Everybody have a beautiful Saturday and hope to see you in Anaheim. Convention Center. Early bird gets the worm and the second mouse gets the cheese. Don't you know, John Hammond told you so. Be careful, everybody. Keep masking up, inside especially. Thanks a lot, everybody. We gotta get out of here. Thank you very much. Ryder Smith on the drums. Chuck Carter, Congress Professor. Koei Tanaka. Charles McNeil, Joe Berger, myself, John Hammond. I don't sing even in the showers, the fingers of the singers. We'll see you around the NAMM show. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful NAMM show. I got to say one last thing, that is. Bye-bye now.